hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to fetch the record from our database and fetch in this form in this input fields so guys this form is designed while inserting the data so guys now we are continuing with the searching data so guys, let's get started so first we need one text box so let's get a text box from here toolbox click and drag and let me just increase the size of this and now let us copy this button and paste again and now let us keep here so guys now i want to make this button name rename this button text as search user okay save and now guys let us code so double click on this button here you are going to see button to click so let's start with it so first step so let us start with the variable con as new sql connection so if you don't find this extension please import the class at the beginning and then continue okay so let's create one command variable dim con as new sql command and then one data reader so let's create that class dr will keep a shortcut as we are going to give a sql data reader okay save and now guys let's give the connection so con dot connection string is equal to inside double quotes you are going to give the connection let's give this connection string over here so as we saw in previous video well let me copy this connection string and paste that that's it let's open the connection open function and then after this close the connection so con dot close function and now over here we need to start with that if condition so let's begin with if then else and if save write the code so what code you are going to write over here first let's go back to our form take this text box one okay so this text box one will rename this property name where is the design name search user id okay so text box name is search user id let's get back to code over here let's type that dot text is equal to null so if it is null means you need to show that message box message box dot show what you're going to show please enter user id okay if it is there is no data null means that time it will show this message if there is data then you will write the code over here so let's type the code over here first step let's write the statement stmt shortcut and over here you are going to write the sql query or a statement so before that let's create this variable dim statement as string okay save and now let's type the code select star from the table name so my table name over here let me just show you that is users table okay so users users table where what you're going to find so where can apply where condition where id is equal to inside single quotes double quotes and then double and and inside this you are going to call that text box name so copy this user id search user id s e a r c h search dot t e x t and then let's execute this cmd is equal to new sql command command function and inside this you are going to pass the statement and then the connection so this connection is nothing but your connection string and connection open and all it will work so let's call this variable dr data reader is equal to then execute this command dot 
execute command reader execute e x e c u t e reader okay you need to check with the if condition if dr dot read then you need to search all this ids so what id you are going to get okay so first we need to fetch all this data this input box id name where is it let's copy this and tell this dot txt is equal to and i am going to store the value inside this what value you are going to store this whatever data reader has come over your dot we are going to get value value of zero so what zero you are going to get this zero means which is the first column of your table so this my user table inside this id is at the zero so same way you need to copy and paste and call for all other things so one which will be the over here you can see f name so where i want to take this at this text box so it is called as property name is first name so let's type that over here first name and then last name so this will be the second column and then the third column the third column which you are going to see is that the gender so let's take this gender which is gender name i mean property name of this gender is gender so let's call that over here gender dot txt and the value is three and same way you are going to call for others also that is phone so let's move on with the column four that is phone 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 and the final i mean the next is email which will be the column five and the another one this is password so these names are nothing but your text box names okay so do not get confused it's a text box name we are getting the value from here and storing in this text box and now guys one thing we missed out that is user type so let's take that also let's change this column number six and the final one is column number seven and that is user type so let me just check with that input name property name of it is user type let's type user type save and now guys if it is if there is no data what at that time so let's give else condition and over here you are going to use a msg bux box function and inside this no record found save it let's remove extra spaces and now guys let us test with this so let me just save and execute get back start debugging let's click on admin login let's go to the user five six login now okay move to users and now here is this so first test we are going to search the data without entering any data inside this text box click on search please enter user id okay so let's enter id number one because we are having some record over there let's search you can see that with prakash mail phone number everything has come and user type is admin is equal to one so yes it is one okay let's move on with the some another id okay so let me just search with the id six so there is no more data more than three or four i think so let's search with the id six search no record found you can see that so let's search with that number four four you can see you are user so all the details has come so guys finally we have completed how to search the data from database by id into your form and inside your text box and see the data so guys let's see in next video about how to update the fetch the data so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video and thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share